Greetings, this is Greg. Who made the first sports sedan, BMW or Alfa Romeo? Based on what I read in the automotive press and statements on BMW's website, I think most people think it was BMW, but it wasn't. Now, BMW certainly built some great sports sedans, but they were not the first, nor are they the only ones with a long sports sedan heritage. Alfa Romeo came out with the Giulietta in 1954. It had a double overhead cam engine, which was unheard of at the time for a sub-exotic level car, let alone in a small sedan. It featured a great suspension, transmission, and fantastic for the time brakes. It had great all-around performance and certainly qualifies as a sports sedan. I would argue that the original Alfa Giulietta Ti from the 50s was the original sports sedan. Oh, and Ti, that stood for Turismo Internazionale which was the class of racing these cars competed in. So what was BMW doing in 1954? Well, they were getting ready to release this. It offered a top speed of 55 miles per hour, along with thrill-packed driving. In 1963, Alfa Romeo came out with the Giulia Type 105. It had double overhead cams, four-wheel disc brakes, a great transmission and suspension, it was certainly a sports sedan, and it existed over 22 years before the BMW 3 Series and way before the BMW 2002. The succession of the performance sedans from Alfa Romeo never stopped, except for some small gaps for a model year or two. We had the Berlina in the 70s, and it was a very advanced and very sporting car. Then in the 80s, we had the Milano, very successful in racing. It even featured a rear-mounted transaxle for weight distribution. In the 90s, we had the front drive 164S with about 230 horsepower, then the 155, which was available in all-wheel drive, and the 156. The last of the front drivers, the Giulietta QV, was capable of about 150 miles per hour, although it may not be a sedan technically since it's a hatchback, but it's sporting and it serves in the sedan role. All of these cars I've mentioned have a solid racing history, and they're all legitimate sports sedans. Some were dominant in racing. The 155, for example, won the European Touring Car Championship. All of this brings us up to the new Julia. The new one is the Type 952 to distinguish it from the older Julia. It's available in base, TI, and quadrifolio versions, all of which are legitimate sports sedans with a long lineage that can be traced back to the original sports sedan. So it should be no wonder, and it's no surprise, that Alfa was able to do such a great job with the driving dynamics of this car. And if you drive one, you'll see what I mean. So what car do you think was the first sports sedan? Although I think it was the 54 Giulietta Ti, I'll concede that an argument could be made for some other cars, perhaps for Jaguar, which had a double overhead cam engine and was faster than the original Giulietta, although uh, it doesn't offer a very sporty driving experience. Uh, but nevertheless, an argument could be made for that. I'd really like to hear what you think. Please put your thoughts or comments below, and have a great day.